All right, good morning. Got this big patch panel put in. Um, got the bottom panel done. There's zero rust down there now. Uh, around the cap corner. Um, gonna be lots of grinding, a little bit of filling, and uh, you'll have a rust-free side. Then we'll go on to the other side and get it done. You see down there, it's took care of all the rust. So, <clears throat> a little bit of grinding, some filler, and you have a pretty solid repair. Last for years, pretty outlast the truck. So, uh, I did uh, scab some pieces of metal back in the cab corner there and found some uh, decent metal to weld to. So, uh, let me get these welds ground down and uh, we'll go ahead and Put a little filler on this and try to get a little primer on it so it doesn't rust. So um, that's the same process we're going to use on the other side. I've had trouble, I don't know what it is, I've had trouble uh, uploading videos. I got about six videos to upload and they won't go for whatever reason. I have to, uh, I guess I need like a seven or eight year old kid to show me what's going on with it. But uh, I'll look into that today. Um, this truck come a long way in the last week. So, uh, a week ago, it was sitting out there in the backyard with the blown transmission and front end smashed in, tailgate wouldn't work, you know, on and on and on. But uh, anyway, turn it into a usable piece and uh, maybe somebody will get some good out of it and uh, maybe we'll get some good out of it. But that's where we're at and uh, I'll probably get this done and then cut and weld a little piece in here, get this rust out and uh, fill it place right there and then go to the other side kind of get this side roughed in and uh, I've said in other videos I like to get my filler on something just as soon as I can so it can do its uh, expansion contraction thing um, uh, any kind of filler you put on will move so the longer it can set there and gas off uh, the better you'll have uh, better results uh, anyway um, it's a shame to cut these panels out at Suburban. It's from Florida, and it is 100% rust-free, just about. <clears throat> so, um, you know, I I got the parts, and you know, might as well use them. But at the same time, it's a shame to cut them doors. But that's what we're going to use uh, on the other side too. And uh, when we're done, we'll have a rust-free truck. And uh, it'll just rust out somewhere we couldn't see later, probably. <laughs> That's the way it works in the rust belt. So, uh, everybody, thanks for watching. And uh, to my new subscribers, I really appreciate you. We've got two or three new ones. And uh, uh, the old subscribers, I appreciate you too. So, uh, keep watching and follow along. Maybe we'll make, a, make something out of this turd. So, uh, have a good day. And like and subscribe if you can.